There's been a global transformation of school settings and higher education settings in response to a wave of dyna dynamic education sector reforms, specifically related to the adoption of educational technologies to enhance teaching and learning practices, education management, research, and even administration. This situation has placed a strain on higher education settings in South Africa and elsewhere due to changing societal expectations, the inevitable integration of technology, and specifically e-learning into traditional interventions. And at the same time, the increasing pressure on educators to deliver quality education. Equally important, the question arises whether information and communication technology, referred to as ICTs, will indeed constructively impact teaching and learning practices. And it is at this stage I would like you to wel welcome you to this community of practice, Flexible Learning Provision. I am Juliet Staltenkamp and I head the Centre for Innovative Educational and Communication Technologies. A need has arisen for e-pedagogy training and support for educators and students within challenging complex higher education settings. Hence, our Centre's integrated support team offers the campus community a basket of services related to the design, development and facilitation of flexible learning environments. The centre focuses on teaching the educators how to teach online and how to make use of e-tools to enhance teaching and learning practices. Within this context, it is important that our centre positions its vision and discourse within a global perspective as well as to explore the theoretical underpinnings which impact the application of teaching and learning, specifically e-teaching and learning. In particular, it is important that we continue to explore ICTs that enable the creation of effective e-learning models and provide a more structured and integrated approach to the implementation of e-learning. The principal thrust of our integrated implementation approach is to highlight a developmental approach toward educational and cultural changes within the institution and the diverse higher education settings across the Western Cape and nationally. This developmental approach entails a cumulative, parallel, reiterative exercises, including a continuous e-awareness campaign, which deploy non-coercive approaches to e-pedagogy and e-learning implementation and moreover measures impact within the institution. Furthermore, the centre's measurement of impact has moved beyond the focus of e-pedagogy to include the interaction with various stakeholders, reflection on the exponential growth of innovative e-teaching and e-learning practices, and improved attitudes and mindsets. The strategic commitment to infusion of ICTs and e-pedagogy, as well as the broader institutional operational plan of the institution. In addition, our integrated developmental approach reflects on the impact in relation to training and support for educators and students, which prevails in communities of practice, and which includes the sharing of online courses, modules, learning objects, within the higher education setting and as well as within the global community. Moreover, the centre's vision can only be achieved by an integrated process with dedicated stakeholder support committed to continuous e-teaching and e-learning marketing. Together with reviewed processes within a dynamic complex education setting. Equally important, e-education and, e and, and the implementation of flexible learning environments within higher education settings inherently impacts the organisational cultural changes. This is not just a once-off event, as it entails the difficult task of changing mindsets towards the use of new pedagogies in order to supplement traditional instruction. I would like to invite you, please contact the centre and good luck as you embrace your e-learning journey.